author, inspirational speaker and clinical psychologist, this is Maria Sarrar. With 20 years in the fields of wellness and positive psychology, she has acquired a wonderful grasp on the human condition. Her insights are enough to recalibrate your mindset for the better. And it's all about balance and perspective. Life is hell and it's wonderful. So I'll ask an audience, you know, give me, shout out to me the top, the 20 things that made your day today or that make your life annoying or difficult or stressful. Mm -hmm. And I hear everything, kids, families, in-laws, pressure, bills, time deadlines, email, technology, my commute, you know, just, that's the swamp. Yep. Every day has a swamp. Then I'll flip the chart and say, okay, here's, here's another circle. Give me the things that make your day worth living, your life worth living. And often some of the same things show up, kids, family, yes. friends, right, work. And then beauty, daffodils, animals, um, music, sunshine. And when you overlay the swamp on, on the pond and you just keep flipping back and forth, what we begin to understand is every day has a swamp and every day has a pond. Yes. And the most resilient of us honor, respect, take care of the swamp, mm -hmm. but we focus on the pond. Do you think some people are just born with this naturally positive self-talk or is it a learned thing? Those of us who thrive even through the dark times have some very clear strategies and practices and one of them is they look for the good. They don't just allow the darkness of the experience or the darkness that's inside of them to dominate the story. They also remember that there's a bigger story that includes the good. Maria has worked with terminally ill young people and their families utilising positive psychology to traverse some very tough times. Something that has taught her lifelong lessons. Even in the midst of the darkest moments, there are some families who rise, who grow together, who celebrate even as their child was dying. They know that connection makes a huge difference in terms of our sense of positive well-being in any one day. And they also understand that suffering, pain, worry, anxiety, they're states that have a natural ebb and flow that we don't have to live attached to them. So what do you say to yourself in those moments? I think if there is a sort of one technique that helps in almost any dark situation is what we call mindful pausing, to take a deep breath or three deep breaths, just to literally re-trigger the neurochemistry in the heart to a healthier place and give yourself a pause in which to choose a wiser, or healthier strategy. And I was working with a, an 18-year-old who'd been diagnosed with cancer 10 years prior. I worked with her in the last few months of her life. In those last few days, the conversation that I wanted to have was, how can we help you? And the conversation she wanted to have was, how much of my stuff can I give away to the right people? So her last impulse was generosity. So, Amazing. Profoundly beautiful. You can make me bumps. <laughs> I love it. Even in the moments of my darkest pain, such as when after my brother died, I didn't want to be walking around my house with my children completely flooded with pain all the time. I, I wanted them to see pain and understand that it's real and natural and also experience the other side of life, which is equally true. Mm -hmm. So I chose a practice of getting up every morning at six o'clock to dance in front of MTV, just for 10 minutes. And every now and then, John Bon Jovi shows up. And that just makes Which you makes day. me happy. <laughs> Whether he shows up or not, the thought that he might made me happy, I love right? So resilience there is in the, again, back to the daily choosing of practices or perspectives that lift you, that enliven you, that give you that sense of, okay, you can have 80% of my day, but 20% is for me. You know, to put aside time for, for serenity, put aside time for joy, put aside time for gratitude, put aside time for a bubble bath. Mm. Just something that replenishes the yes. spirit. And know that as you build resilience, as you build a sort of platform within yourself of positivity and capacity, you also are then able to give that to those around you.